regard. But here we are. No Spider Mitchell in New York. There's been a lot of talk from fans about what's next for the Knickerbockers. So, CP, what do you think should be the focus slash direction of this team going forward? Well, there's no question. I think it needs to be continuing along the development track, evaluating your young core. You already brought in Jalen Brunson, who's still a young guy. You have R.J. Barrett, who you signed to the four-year extension. You have Mitchell Robinson. Those guys are young guys in your starting lineup. But I believe these three players really need a longer evaluation and extended playing time, and that is Quentin Grimes, Cam Reddish, who the Knicks traded a first-round pick for, as well as O.B. Toppin. And in each of those three guys, they, they give the Knicks a much needed element to their game, whether it's shooting in the case of Quentin Grimes, you have athleticism in the case of Cam Reddish, Obi Toppin, and defensive awareness in the case of uh, Grimes and Reddish as well. And I think those three guys really can give this team a boost in areas where they are deficient. The problem is, is that the Knicks invested salary, a hefty salary in Evan Fournier as well as Julius Randle. And those two guys who are keys in the Knicks starting lineup, unless they are moved before training camp, you have to factor that Tom Thibodeau is going to lean on those guys. And that's where the question lies is, as this team goes forward and should be evaluating more of their young talent, is this the right coach for this scenario, you know, Tom Thibodeau was brought in here. He wants to win games. He wants to remain competitive. He understands the pressure of having to win in New York. Will he bring in more of these younger guys or will he continue to lean on some more of his veteran presence like a Julius Randle, like an Evan Fournier? And that's left to be seen. Yeah, you bring up the question that I was going to ask about that with Tibbs. Is he going to play these guys? I think that's the key question that a lot of Nick fans want to know as they head into this season.